Today we have the rare opportunity of checking out a caboose. If you've ever had the dreams of staying on a train, this is it. Let's check this place out. Today we're in Lynchburg, Virginia at the James Station Caboose. This place is so cool. We've only been to one other train before. Really rare, and we've never been to Virginia, so it's our first time here. The views from up here where we're located are incredible. Waterfall in front of me, and a factory as well, right along the river. Lots of history right here in front of us. I'll be explaining in a second, but this train caboose is almost 40 feet long, shipped from West Virginia and remodeled by the hosts. They did an incredible job. They brought it here, put it back on its tracks for us, and made it into a functional living space. Clearly, you can see the mural on the front says love, and this matches the sign in downtown Lynchburg, which we are so close at. We actually have a view of it from right where we're located. And the brick roads where we're at, we're at the end of a street, so it's pretty private. And I just like this place a lot. There are two parking spots here, and then we can walk down the path, and they have this huge deck space with the great views. Hammock over there to relax at. Small dining table out here in this corner. There is a fire pit as well down there. We can sit out here, relax, start the fire, and then back up on the deck. There is a couple seating options out here in the middle as well. And then there is a small grill over here uh, by the steps. And then if we continue walking down, there is a swing built with railroad ties overlooking the beautiful property. And what you'll be looking at is the James River and this waterfall. The waterfall is known as Scotts Mill Dam, and Scotts Mill was located on the opposite side of the river where you see all the rocks and ruins, and that's the old mill. Though it looks rather small from the house, can you believe the dam is actually 20 feet tall? Justin guessed it was like seven foot. <laughs> <laughs> And then this factory in front of us is known as the Iron Pipe Factory. It's been in use since the 1800s. And these are used all across the country for water transportation. So there's the history of the views in front of us. We continue along with the train and we'll walk inside actually. Walking inside the James Station, this train is so cool. It's a lot more spacious than what you might think of it from the outside. It being about 40 feet long, eight feet wide, maybe even uh, wider than that, I can't even touch the walls. It's very spacious in here. And the best part is there's these two bump outs in the middle that add so much extra space in here. It feels just incredible. And the aesthetic with the train interior, the metal walls, there's metal cabinets, the arched wood ceiling, they even keep the metal beams up above here throughout, and then the wood floors. You can't go wrong. This back part to the left of the door is where our bed is located. We have a full bed back here. You can have enough room to walk on both sides. We have windows and some lighting above. I'm a big fan of this porthole window in this corner. And then there's also a TV that can swivel out if you like to watch TV in bed. It's not in the way at all. And that's the bed space. Overall, pretty nice. They leave some earplugs for you if you want total peace and quiet. The walls in here are double paneled. So there's two layers of drywall, acoustic insulation inside for noise canceling, and it makes a difference in here for sure with the outside noises and just being inside. Continuing along, we have a small cabinet space. Black metal fits in with the train aesthetic, and they even leave a fan here for you. A mirror to get ready at, which is nice. And then we continue. This is the largest portion of this train area. This is where the bump outs are. This one to my right is your dining space. Custom wood table and two chairs that swivel. These are really comfortable chairs. And we get great views of the outside. We are overlooking the river and we can close all of these windows with these blackout curtains. Every single window in here has these, so you won't have to worry about light at all. And on this table, they leave a welcome basket with coffee, snacks, and stuff like that, even wine, which is really cool. And then behind this, there is a love seat tucked in this cubby, the original train windows all around it, which are really cool. Nice wood coffee table, and the best part about this uh, seat, it converts into a bed. So you can open it up, and you can pull it out, and I have two beds in this Airbnb. And then we continue along, plenty of space to walk around. We enter into the kitchen space. This kitchen is really functional for the space they have in here. This right side has my sink right in front of this window for some great views, a little light above it. Quartz countertop, I like the white mixed with the green cabinets and the bronze 
handles all throughout. Plenty of cabinet space for the stuff you'll need and they have a couple floating shelves up here with your dishes and really nicely done in here. On this side, we have the rest of your kitchen space, white refrigerator right in the middle, and they leave some local bottled milk in here. All right, let's try out this milk. It's from A2A2 All Natural. One for me, one for Justin. Cheers. Cheers. Tastes like milk. Wait, aren't you lactose intolerant? And then to the left of the kitchen space, we have a small oven and a microwave down there. And up top, they have this really cool thing. It's called coffee. Have you ever heard of it? It's really good. You should try it out. And they leave some mugs here, the Keurig, the whole setup. It's nice. The last thing in here is on the other side of the refrigerator is a small cabinet. I like the uh, original metal cabinet in here. Open it up. You can hang some of your clothes. There's a full length mirror in here. Nice to have a closet space in here. And that's all of this main space. Very functional and nice. The rest is through this doorway. And through this walkway is your bathroom. This is a large bathroom for a train and who would ever thought I'd be using the bathroom on a train. But here I am. In here we have the toilet and then a small metal sink right here in front of me with the mirror. This entire wall is concrete, which is really cool. Fits with the aesthetic of the train. And then this right side has a full shower that you can walk into. Huge glass wall right here, waterfall shower head. There's also another frosted window in here that we can close. And a cool feature that they have is this porthole window with your shampoo and body wash right in front of it. it. Looks really cool. The aesthetic in here is absolutely perfect. My favorite part though is this door right behind me. You can actually open it up. Justin, did you know you can open this door up? I did not. <laughs> and you can open it up and walk outside to the back of this train. I love that handle. That feels legit. Anyway, let's close it back up. Oh no, there we go. And you can lock it. Perfect bathroom. This is all really cool, but we're, since we're so close to downtown, we gotta check it out. There's a bagel shop, I believe. We'll head down there. We walked here to Bacon Street Bagels. Looks really cool. Just got the cream cheese for now. 6.5 out of 10. Coffee's good. We got coffee too. And now let's head downtown. Electric bikes. Rented these from Bikes Unlimited. Justin, what do you think? This is so awesome. <laughs> Electric bikes are the way to go. It's like I'm not even pedaling. <laughs> I love Justin in the dust. About to cross over this bridge. This is beautiful. Stunning. Right over the river. So that's a tour of this place. If you want to check it out, the link is down in the description below. I highly suggest it. The hosts are really nice. They also manage like 30 other properties. Uh, you can check all of those out as well. All Belong Co. Thanks to the host for having me. I'll see you guys next week in another Airbnb tour.